Hi and welcome to the Lidco Clinical Education video series. In this short presentation, we'll examine how to conduct a passive leg raise using a guided protocol within the Lidco hemodynamic monitoring system to predict volume responsiveness. Start by selecting the three bar icon at the top right to enter the main menu. Then select protocols about halfway down. Once inside the protocols menu, use the drop down arrow to reveal the options and select passive leg raise guided. Now each guided protocol tracks the dynamic changes in three phases, prep, start, and results, and provides a few easy to follow steps. Step one, place the patient in a semi-recumbent position and set the timer, check. Step two, press the arrow to capture the baseline and start the timer, then quickly change the patient's position as illustrated. Step three, when the timer reaches zero, return the patient to their original position, then read the results. So to review, the patient is stabilized in bed with the head up 45 degrees and legs flat. Then in a single swift motion, and this may require an assistant, passively raise both legs to 45 degrees and simultaneously lower the head of the bed to flat. This maneuver quickly returns a reservoir of venous blood from the lower extremities into the central circulation and mimics a fluid challenge. Pertinent research advises the use of a real-time measure of stroke volume, not simply blood pressure, to evaluate the rapid transient changes this maneuver can produce. The table at the bottom of the screen records the results. In this example, the patient does not appear to be fluid responsive since the change in stroke volume was only 6%. Results are highlighted with color and text for emphasis. From this menu, we could restart the passive leg raise, perhaps with a 90 second hold time, or return to the main screen. Here we see event markers denoting the start and end of the passive leg raise we've just conducted. It does appear that this patient might benefit from an increase in heart rate. Keep in mind that the event response function is another way to start, recall, and select protocols that can help guide treatment decisions. In summary, a passive leg raise provides an all-natural, intrinsic fluid challenge, sort of like a selfie bolus. Evidence supports the fact that those who experience a greater than 10% increase in stroke volume during a passive leg raise are likely to be fluid responsive. When a fluid challenge is given, Lidco can also offer guidance and record the results. But that's a different video. Thanks for watching this short video on conducting a passive leg raise with Lidco. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Lidco YouTube channel. We also invite you to visit our website at www.lidco.us where you'll find more videos and other e-learning tools. Stay curious. Bye for now.